you tell us about the status of, of the programs? Well, the, the rovers themselves that we've had as sort of the centerpiece of the Mars Exploration Program have just been outstanding successes so far, and we're about to have another one coming this August. But we've had the Sojourner rover for Mars Pathfinder back in 97, the Spirit and Opportunity, which landed in 2004, and Opportunity continues to operate. But we're about to land Curiosity, the largest planetary rover ever built on another planet as of August of this summer. And if everything goes well, this will be a mission that's going to go on for a very, very long time. Spirit and Opportunity were intended to be short 90-day missions. Obviously, they've lived a lot longer than that, but the real primary mission design was very, very quick, only three months. Curiosity is going to be a very different sort of project. Rather than a quick sprint, it's really much more of a marathon. It's going to go on with a primary mission that's two years long and could last well, well beyond that as well. So the pace of this discovery, the pace of exploration, and the whole experience is going to be somewhat different than anything we've ever done before. Uh, that's that's one, wonderful. Can you please tell us a little bit about the experiments that bear on the question of life? The primary purpose of this mission and Curiosity Science Package that she carries aboard is to really try to characterize and understand the Mars environment and truly understand whether it was ever capable of having an environment that could support life. It's not actually to seek out life itself. We don't actually have the instrumentation to do that yet. But really say, is this place, is this locale, this environment one where life could flourish and exist as best we know it right now? And if, if the answer to that question is yes, then we can say, all right, then it really is worth pursuing the question of, is life, since it could be here, did it ever exist here? Thank you very much.